This is one of my favorite books. I've been looking for it for a long time. I found it finally in a pile of books in one of our bedrooms upstairs. It's called The Wind Comes. And as you can see, it's been used and loved and listened to by many, many listeners. I bought it when my daughter was just born, Megan. That was over 40 years ago. And um, I've been reading it. I read it to her. I read it to my son. I've read it in many Sunday school classes, and I've read it in many churches. And uh, I've read it to my granddaughter, Leona, and I can't wait to read it to my grandson, Elliot. But now I'm going to read it to you because I think it's one of the most perfect ways to ponder a great mystery about how God works in our world and blows through our world as spirit. Wind is one of the images that Jesus uses to describe the way God works in a story in the Gospel of John that is also one of the stories for today. So enjoy and tell me what you think. Some people live on high mountains and the wind blows all around. One day it comes warm, and they walk out to meet it. One day it comes cold, and they put on their coats. One day it comes rushing terribly, crashing against the windows and pulling at the trees, and they stay inside their houses. And one day it comes dancing lightly on the leaves and playing in the grass, and everyone who stops to look at it is happy. Some people live on the plains, and the wind comes straight and steady all day long. It never stops to think and change its mind, but runs swiftly over the corn and the wheat, the people and their houses and their cows and their long, straight roads. But if the people strip the green from the prairie land and leave it naked and dry, the earth leaps up into the wind, flying away in the black dust clouds. And where the wind rests, it lays down the dust like a blanket over the wheat, over the houses, over the people. The people blame the wind, but the wind will take anyone who will go. Some people live deep in the valley, so deep down that the wind goes by without noticing. Everything there is quiet and still. Only the people move. When the rain comes, it has to slip away from the wind to go there at all alone, falling straight down from the sky. And the wind wonders where it went, but never stops to look. Some people live by the sea and the wind blows the sea to them all day long, throws it in waves upon the beaches and the cliffs, and carries them the salt and the seaweed smell and the sound of the breaking waves. When they go in a boat on the sea, they reach up a white sail to catch at the wind, and the wind lets them ride wherever it's going. And some people live in the city, which is all houses and big buildings, and sometimes there is no grass, and sometimes there are no trees, but there is always the wind. It finds its way down the avenue and runs into the streets and into the little alleys and plays with the garbage cans and the dirt in the gutter, gets into people's hair and in their clothes, hops in at an open window, waves the curtains, turns the pages in a book, and lifts pieces of paper off the table. 
There are people who don't like the wind. They say it's cold, or it's hot, or it's damp, or it changes, and they shut the window. But the wind doesn't go away. It stays just as long as it likes, blowing about outside, looking all over for a crack. And when it finds one, it sneaks in, purring like a cat. And there are people who want to change the wind. In winter, they heat it up and let it wander inside their houses, warming everything. And the wind doesn't mind. It likes to be in people's houses. The wind is friendly and loves everyone. And in summer, there are people who catch the wind outside and make it blow cold all through their houses with a whirring noise. And the wind doesn't mind that either because hot or cold, it's always the wind. It only likes to be moving and going places and never being still. But there are some people who close the windows, seal up the cracks, and don't want the wind to blow hot or cold in their rooms. And they think, ha, I've shut the wind outside. They smile, and you can see them smile because at last they think they have escaped the wind. But if you go very close to them, you can feel the wind still there, blowing soft and warm out of their mouths, because the wind is everywhere, always.